We're back. I'm Mario Cantone filling in for Artie Lang here on the Artie Lang Show, which is just a fascinating experience for me, I do have to say, John Ritchie. Yeah. And uh, co-host John Ritchie, who I just adore, and uh, one of my best friends in the whole world, John Benjamin Hickey, who um, came here tonight because I said, you better get your ass here and, and play with me on the air. There was a promise of booze. And <laughs> yeah, booze yeah. and dope. Booze and dope. Boo. Yeah. They drummed you yeah. out of Hollywood and you come crawling <laughs> back to Broadway. Well, Broadway doesn't go for booze and dope. I'm sure all the Artie Lang fans I know, they know, know that's they, from Valley of the Dolls. Oh, yeah, gayest movie in the world. One of the sports movies ever, yeah. ever made. Yes. Right up there with, you know... It, with Dan Jim Thorpe, All American, <laughs> <laughs> with Ronald Reagan, uh, Burt Lancaster. Oh, was first. it? Oh, uh, yeah, Burt Lancaster. Reagan. But I think Ronald Reagan may have played uh, somebody in there. No, he in played Jim Thorpe, All American. No, no, no. That's I don't think movie? Reagan was it. Yes, uh, Burt Lancaster. Played what year Jim was Thorpe. this? I mean, 1930s. it was probably in the in the forties, maybe the early fifties. Yeah. Don't you watch Turner Classic Movies with Robert Osborne? I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Robert Osborne. Heard about I love him. His yeah. diction gets worse every day. Every day. Do, yeah. He's like, I'm Robert Osborne. We have Betty Davis and I will. <laughs> it's like, what? Um, so, uh... <laughs> you know, they sent Jim Thorpe to uh, the school uh, where Central PA. I mean, he was somewhere oh, in wow. Pennsylvania, right? Um, Jim I, Thorpe, Pennsylvania is, is a town. I guess it was named after. Was it Jim yeah. Thorpe, Pennsylvania? Yeah. It's called Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. I believe it Not is. Thorpe, Pennsylvania. It. They, na Jim they named Thorpe. it to refresh us on what, because I remember reading a little like children's biography of Jim Thorpe when I was a kid and being obsessed with the story. Yeah. He was an American Indian. Yeah, they, they have a finishing school. I guess it was called a finishing school in Carlisle, Pennsylvania, where I, I want to say, yeah, a, a Native American, well, they called it an Indian Reeducation Academy or something like that. Carlisle oh. Indian Industrial School. There you go. They would send all of the Native Americans from all over the place. They would just say, hey, we're going to send you to the school and make you become Americanized. More? Oh, my really? goodness. Really? Yeah. So, that's so they would just uproot them from where, wherever they were and send them to Carlisle, which is the town next to where I grew up, and... Uh, and clean their act up. Yeah, yeah. that's why it was called and the finishing school, because it was goodness. finishing off any kind of ethnicity they had, wow. exactly. any kind of culture so or they were, individualism. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, and then, I don't know, uh, you know, completely decimated their culture, and, and but what was Jim, Jim was one of those guys. I'm, I'm suddenly blanking on what Jim Thorpe's particular trajectory was. Was he stripped of his... Me who, oh. Metal what what happened? He was stripped of his medal. Am I confusing him with somebody else? Yeah, he was a football you're player. Confusing no, it he with did Vanessa just Williams. about every sport. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. She was stripped, stripped of her, her title. Oh, yeah. stripped of her title. <laughs> yeah. And she put her face in now. He did. He did everything. I mean, he was baseball. He was football. He was track and field. He was lacrosse. He was. Uh, I don't know. What else is there? Uh, he did everything at a at a professional level, and he was incredible. I don't think he was ever stripped of medals, though. What Olympic titles. What? Olympic he was? titles, yes. medals, yeah, he was. and okay. awards. So he not, was stripped I, I thought, of his Olympic title? Yeah, he played, he Why? played show me pro ball. Yes, yeah. exactly. Oh. That was it. Oh, that he didn't was have it. amateur status. That's what the movie's oh, about. Okay. I knew I was sitting here. Was Am I completely wrong? But yeah, wow. it was a terrible. He had a terrible end, Jim Thorpe. I know. Oh, well, yeah. at, at the end, I mean, he was uh, al he was alcoholic yeah. and, and drugs and just and broke, completely flat broke. Well, this is what it the world really does sad. to people. Yeah. Wow. Here's it's a guy terrible. who, man. Well, that's the thing. I, well, he, Do you even know who it. you are if you've been uprooted and your entire way of life was erased yeah yeah you know like what does that do to somebody great start to life you know yeah That's we're gonna nice. make go make you someone else and then you just try to deal with it for the rest yeah of so your who existence. you actually are is a lie and we we're not gonna yeah, yeah we don't want to sell but that. you know what you're really good at sports so we're gonna we're gonna ride your coattails on that yeah well and then when you can't do that anymore we're gonna toss you up and well look at how they treated roberto clemente for a long time too yeah they were they were tough on him they they, they sat they knew he was the best and they they sat him on that bench and didn't play him for right. the longest time. Mike knows all about Roberto Clemente. Yeah, he uh, died in 1973. Yeah, oh yeah, in the plane crash, going to help Nicar Nicaragua. Right? In Nicaragua, yeah. right? He was going yeah. to help. Yeah, he was, he was going on a mission. This is why I don't believe in karma. People that do yeah, good things right. die, and it's terrible. Right. People like karma. There's no such thing. I don't care what not anybody says. Not in show says. business. Maybe not in sports In show business, either. I don't think. Maybe not. You know, and he was one of the great players of all time. He really yeah. was. He, he really, really was. So what do, you, what do you think of Brian Boitano coming out today? Um, I mean, is it okay to say, like, yep. no great shock? I yeah. mean, it's not like, <laughs> yeah. 
you know, um, it's not a big event. No, either. I, I thought like of the I song saying, immediately. What would what Brian would, Boitano do? Yep, um, yep. But fantastic, especially in light of, uh, you know, where we're going to the Olympics. Yeah. And yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. He's a great would. sportsman. And, you know, I loved watching is, him skate. Is there anyone in the gay community that, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Resentful that it took him this long? Like I'm sure when everyone already, it's it's so obvious. It's It's a truism. That, yeah. that Brian Boitano is gay, and now it's almost like a, making a mockery of yeah. coming out. Well, it, well, I don't know if it's making a mockery. I, I, I was talking to Rich about, uh, Mr. Richie about, uh, uh, I just called you Mr. Richie. Oh, nice. God, uh, nice. About um, how, the difference between when Ricky Martin came out and someone like Brian. It's, it's, just, it's a big difference. Um, because, because, because... Because I said this already, I'm repeating myself, because, because Ricky Martin... You know, we knew, a lot of yeah, the gay yeah. community knew, but his huge Puerto Rican um, yeah. Catholic fan base, yeah, they exactly. did not know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like Elvis coming out. It's yeah. pretty big. Yeah. That's scary to do. Yeah. And he did it about five years ago. Yeah. But this is so safe. Well, it's very Brian safe. Doing this. Well, you know, and for him, it's at this point, it's very safe. I mean, it's not going to be safe for someone like, you know, John Travolta or Tom Cruise. Right. Oh, Mario, you know. don't be ridiculous. What? Don't be ridiculous. I mean, come on. Wait, so you're saying they're you not, no, they're I not gay? I, do, I don't, I do not, uh, I don't want to get into it. He's been in Hollywood this. too long. I don't want to get He's been in Hollywood that. much too long. I just, you know, it's like the, the, the one thing that you have to, the, the you know, everybody in their own time to do I agree. anything they want. But the one, I think the one mistake that get, gets made in semantics, if you want to call it that, is when people say my personal life is my business and being gay is not your personal life. Being gay is who you are. Just like being Caucasian. I agree, is and that's not are. what I'm being, saying about you know. But be, but who them. you sleep with and who you choose to sleep with, and I mean you know you know. But you don't know. I mean I, more about more maybe more one than the other. But we can't get into <laughs> splitting those hairs. Mm -hmm. um, whether yeah. they're yeah okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Why don't you go back to Hollywood, <laughs> to your conditioned closeted town of Los Angeles. Oh. Oh, um, man. Yeah. Uh, yes. See, I, see yeah. what happens when you work for Clint Eastwood? This is what happens. Right. Uh, I've no, heard I'm the kidding. rumors about about the Travolta. Yeah, they're just rumors. But you're we saying don't know that if you... it's true or not. I'm just saying. I'm but just, no, you know, but earlier you were saying sense. that you know. No, I don't know anything for a fact. Earlier, you, okay, with Ricky Martin, you Ricky Martin, knew. I knew. Oh, I knew. Yeah, I did. But, I, I mean, mean, is this another thing where you, you said it takes one to know one? So it takes one to know one. I always believe Do you feel like you're vibing on... I'm Travolta? vibing. I'm vibing. We went to. Uh, I can't. I can't believe I'm going to tell this very quick tell. story. We went to dinner. My partner and I went to dinner. My partner writes for Modern Family. You know, He's great, great, oh, yeah, great guy. Right. Um, we went to dinner at um, uh, Ryan Philippe and Reese Witherspoon's house when they were married to a dinner party, and it was and Clint and Dina, his wife at the time. I think they may have split up. Or John Slattery and his wife Talia, who are old friends of mine. And 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 at this point, this was my first time to th to real to to for that Clint was going to see that my partner was not a woman. And I thought he thought for sure I was straight. And I was maybe like, I was a little like not, you know, I, I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want him to know, not because of any other reason, but that he was Clint Eastwood and I didn't want him to yeah. beat me up well, or anything. Well, because he has that image well, of like, yeah, yeah, he, I didn't cowboy, want to and he's also drifter. Republican. And, and I saw know. on the way over there, I was like, look, whatever you do, don't do anything gay at the dinner table. <laughs> I want you to be, and he was like, geez, come Calm down. The guy has been in the business 60 yeah. years. Yeah. I think maybe, and also, again, maybe it's not all about you at this dinner party. I was like, just whatever you do, okay? And of course, they sat next to each well, other. What were you anticipating oh, you would the do? Worst. Just like I don't. It's the worst possible gay. <laughs> like what? What, dress. Uh, what is a well, gay thing to do at the table? Out, my, my he did. My partner did it. I. They sit next to each other and they hit it off immediately. They fall instantly in love and start just kibitzing and talking all night. And I overhear my partner at one point saying, "Clint, I just have to tell you, I loved you in Paint Your Wagon," <laughs> which is a movie musical that Clint. It's the only <laughs> thing remotely gay that Clint Eastwood has had, and it's not even. gay. Because it's a terrible it's movie. It's a terrible musical. Movie. Yeah. Horrible so musical. even we did. We don't. We disowned that. We did. And I was like, you had to bring up freaking paint your wagon. That's hilarious. And 
good. And they spent the rest of the night talk, talk, talking about Harv Presnell. Yeah, Harv Presnell. Yeah, who was the star of it. Clint Eastwood <laughs> only shoots seven-hour days because they shot 16-hour days on Paint Your Wagon. He was like, and look how that movie turned out. Yeah. So you don't uh, have to shoot, uh, you know, 20-hour days to make a good movie. So you only shot seven hours. Yeah, he does. He's That's like, really He great. shoots the rehearsal. He maybe does one take. He moves on. He's finished by lunch. Everybody has a big lunch together, and, <laughs> and you go home. Mm. That's and, the way yeah, to do it. Yeah, Because, you know, sometimes you're on a set for hours. Hours and hours, hours and hours. And, and shooting just... things over and over and over again. And you're like, to what end, you know? Yeah. But he's he's a master, that guy. What wow. other great directors and have you worked with? He was in Paint Your God. Wagon. Who, uh, Paint Your Wagon. I don't even know the songs to that. Um... Mar uh, she, uh, the wind is yeah. The, Mariah. They call the wind Mariah. They call um, the wind. I was born under a wandering star. Lee Marvin. Lee Marvin yeah. sang in yeah, that. Yeah, Lee Marvin sang in it. That's Maybe a kind that of was... a straight guy musical too, you know. Yeah. A lot of the Learner and Low musicals are straight guys. Movie like Camelot. Yeah. Like John, Clint John F. Kennedy it. loved. I mean, it's Camelot. Yeah, that, a straight guy musical. Wagon. It is. Right? It really is. Camelot's a, a great. Musical. Clint Eastwood sang. Yes, he did. He yeah. sang. They and he didn't sing badly. No, he didn't. He has he a really. He really did. It sounds like it would be so so soft. And, and it, he does have a very soft. soft. It's like a jazz Pianissimo. voice. Well, he wasn't going to be able to do it on stage in a Broadway theater because he's he's, he's got a soft voice. Yeah. Don't ever call him soft to no. his face. No. No, you don't. You don't do no. that. Uh, that doesn't work. Uh, no, he'll find a. He'll pull up a empty chair. Now, John, what are your Christmas plans? <laughs> um, <laughs> pull, I'm I know he will pull up an empty chair. I'm uh, gonna go see Broadway shows. Are you? Yeah, and uh, hang out. I'm, I, I I don't have any plans at what all. What are you it's, gonna see? Um, everything. I'm a I'm I'm a Tony voter this year, so I get to go see everything. I know you'll have he to has won a Tony. That? How do you swing that? Um, I don't know. I think I kissed the right amount no. of. Yeah. Did, you, did this happen after you won, or were you uh, always a Tony voter? Yes, it did. Yeah. but I don't think it had but anything. Do to Do winners do. always get? No, to... no, no, no. I think but... I knew a couple of people who were on the advisory board, and my wow. uh, former co-star in The Big C, Oliver Platt, the great actor Oliver Platt, was on it, and he was like, "I want you to come to this dinner with me because I think you'd be really great at this." And he's like, "You might get to be a Tony voter," and I was like, "I would love to be," a because I love Broadway, but mainly. The only thing I hate worse than going to opening nights, which is the only night you can go free to the theater, yes. is paying one hundred and seventy yeah, five dollars to it's not, see my friends, and so you get to go for free. And, you, and there is, are no free tickets if you're not there opening night. Um, no, you know, it's, no, it's, they're, it's, it's very it's, expensive to go to. The yeah, it sure is. It really is. Is but, Hugh Jackman? I'm a huge Hugh Jackman. Are you? Fan. Hugh is Hugh Jackman, Jackman gonna ever win a Tony? I mean, sure he, he will. Sure. Hasn't he won an honorary one? No, no. That doesn't. But what, he, no. what does that mean? Sure he will. If he does Tony. another Broadway show, a Broadway. But musical. he hasn't. Has Is he, he a hack? No, though? he I won mean, a Tony, know. dude. He what won he, a Tony for that the Peter Allen musical, for the Boy from Oz. Yes. Yeah. Did he win? Did. Yeah, he yes, did. Yes, he won the Tony. Yeah, he did. How could he not have won the Tony? I mean, if I, if he didn't. Uh, yeah. Well, he, look, you can he, tell us about Jim Thorpe in the I finishing feel like, school. Uh, in you love Hugh Jackman. This is good. No, Hugh Jackman. Yeah. No. Do you like? Do you? I love him even more. I've as never like seen a, him in a musical. Hero. Well, I like him more as an action hero. I love him as I Wolverine. I think it's incredible I think he's that he's really, so versatile. He's very. I hear versatile. he's amazing in this movie that came out this year. Uh, Prisoner. Yeah, I hear he's. Amazing. I heard he's great in. Yeah, he's the nicest. He's the nicest human guy in the world. On the planet. You know and him? so talented. I've been a met him, but I don't know. I him. know him. Oh. You pretty do? Well. Yeah, I do. Wow. I know him pretty well. Yeah. I mean, I don't hang out with him, but I know him pretty well. And he's a kind, lovely. His wife's lovely. Yeah, he just seems like a. He's a great guy, and he's he he can do everything. You right. are correct really on him winning. The it's Tony. fascinating. I, yeah, he, he dances, for, he sings. Yeah. yeah, he does it all. And then he's, and then he's you know, butch. the Wolverine. And he's yeah. got the Wolverine it's, with it. Just, he's like, it's kind of like irreconcilable for yeah. me. Yeah, well, because he's. I want but him that's to stop. Thing. He, it's a little now. Yeah. Well, he well, he, 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 he says he stops in between. Wolverine, yeah. Wolverine. He stops after the Wolverine. Yeah. He's gonna lean down. He said. Oh really? Yes, I'm gonna. I think I. You know what? That's. I, I, I was in between roles, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to... Oh, is that what you did, John? I'm just going to... Really? Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to yeah. stop all that stuff. <laughs> That's so, good. So, I'm good. Yeah. How about... <laughs> Are you are you gonna go? What, are you gonna go see the Bridges of Madison County, the musical? Um, that's, they're they're that's, making a now, now. I think that may have been one of the movies that I could ask you to sing the theme song. We for. did. That was one of the first songs we made up. We said that we well, before it was even. It's gonna be a musical on Broadway. 
bridges in Madison County that Clint Eastwood well, and I'm sure all the people, people who watch you, the show so know that. going to be involved well, Clint, in no, this I don't anyway. think Clint is in it at no. all. But we how would, does Artie let you do this show? Because I <laughs> secretly <laughs> love me. How does your universe well, you know what I just think in a million It's so bizarre that I'm on this show. Because, well, first of all, I have the best time with them when I come here. I really do. Second of all, Artie loves me. He Dan does? loves me. Yes, I love Artie. Artie and I, look, Artie and I watch, we know what he's we genius. both do. He's a genius. He's so brilliant. And just, just sitting in a club and watching him do a set is like, yeah. Look, you know, he does Carnegie Hall and he sells it out in like, you know, two minutes. He's he's brilliant. And I just think we get each other. I think he appreciates, he always says to me, he goes, funny is funny. Doesn't matter what anybody is and what you are. You know, look, most of my audience, when I when I do a concert, it's mostly straight people. Yeah, sure. It's mostly I've women and that. straight couples, period. That's the way it is. I saw your Broadway show very late in its run. And like all the gay guys were gone, all of the Broadway, and it was like a working class Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and I have never seen people laughing so hard in my, and to be somebody who loves you and is so close to you, to see a Broadway audience be in the palm of one person's hand, it's mm. like, it's like you're at the epicenter of the universe. It was, doing that. it was fun to do. It was, it was exhausting. Oh, Ooh. it was exhausting. It was two hours yeah. and I well, had to And sing. this is every, Every night except uh, I did seven one? shows a week. Usually you do eight, oh. but I did seven because I negotiated it down a little bit. But that's all you worry about is your voice. You know when you're uh, doing eight like shows you a week. You're like Bette Midler. You, you, got, you did like two shows a week. You showed up like, you know, once, <laughs> once a month. You That is to not do true. I, did seven, I didn't miss you... a show. I didn't miss a show. The Good bridges of Madison County. I, knew you, so I thought you had a you day off. Them, that. What? I thought you had a day off. Oh, you do have a day off. You, I, oh, I, but I would, then you cram would, it yeah, like two yeah. on Saturday. I would have like Sunday and Monday. Or I would Monday think and doing Tuesday a Broadway off. show is a lot like playing in in in, in a, like a professional football or sp any sports. It would league. be like pro wrestling. Everything well, you're not you tearing do, your voice up, but you're tearing your body up. Yeah, and everything you do that week is is you're really where you really are is on that football field at that game. Like it's all you're really thinking about. That's you're what gearing you're towards. Yeah, everything's geared to. Yeah, the end goal is getting out there and putting the best product on the field. Yeah. It's all and the you same have goal. Good, you, you have good shows and bad shows. You yeah. have good games, bad games. Yeah. Sometimes you don't know why you're on and you're off, and you you know. Isn't that yeah? That's bizarre. It how is that weird. Works. You don't know sometimes. There's no yeah. Th there's no pre warning. There's no yeah. pre indicators. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's performance. I mean, it's performance. It is. Do you have superstitions? Like, oh yeah. yeah. What are they? Did you have them? No. Oh oh, I have a I million don't. of them. What are what they? What do you mean? Yeah, you have to. Have I some. don't. I don't, you know. Uh, I have to do a particular, I have to be at the theater at a certain time. I have to eat no later than, but I have to tap things before I go oh, out. Oh, no, I don't tap. <laughs> lick a light. Do bar. you really? Yeah, Come I on, John. No. I don't eat before a no. show, but I, I, I don't lick a light bulb. I mean, I do. I don't lick a light, but I do crazy, crazy things. You yeah. tap stuff? Yeah, yeah, I tap stuff. Well, we know I that. I blow dry. <laughs> oh, we know that, too. If I, if I, if I, like, if I get out of the shower and I, and I dry my underarm, this, uh, you know, and then I have a great show that night, I have to do it that way for the rest wow. of the run. I think I used to think that way a little bit, but then I was like, this is ridiculous. It doesn't yeah. mean anything. But, well, you know, you know they say in the theater, you can't say... You can't say Macbeth. You have to say the Scottish play. Yeah. You can't. You can't. Oh, whistle. really? You can't whistle in the theater. Can't whistle. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's all bad. What, what, what would you? What are your? Yeah. yeah what, what are your superstitions? Do? Uh, it, just wearing the same shirts, wearing the same. Uh, I would eat eggs Benedict every Saturday morning when we. Well, had, that's oh, a wow. good idea. Uh, because I liked it. Would lot. you wash those shirts during the season? The shirts, they wash all your stuff. I mean, you you throw all your stuff in a bag, and the equipment guys do it. But my shirt that I wore every every game actually disintegrated eventually, so I had to wear a new Why? shirt. Why? Because you're. I don't know. It, your it, sweat it, was, it actually was started acid? to smell like Clorox. Like it was, it was. Was it the ble? Were you bleaching it? No, I, maybe they were. I no, but it, it the fabric, the fibers of the fabric actually well, just you disintegrated. Every day? It turned. It turned. It was a dry fit shirt, and it ended up turning from white to tan to brown to orange. Oh. And by the time it was orange, it smelled strongly like Clorox, and it was just acrid and disgusting. Wow. Oh, I just threw up and then my it mouth disintegrated. And then strangely, you. Were yeah, excited. but I was still wearing yeah. it, so that's a pretty nasty superstition to keep putting that And that on. was it? And it would almost burn when I would put it on my body. Did you carry anything? <laughs> oh, God. Did you carry anything with you? No. Okay. Uh, no. See, I don't I do not do that either. I mean, no, I no. would carry pads. I'd have pads all yeah, over my body. Yeah, of course. Sure. 
Oh, we got a break. We do. All right. Uh, all right. Well, uh, John, thank you for coming. I'm so I happy to have been it. here. When is when should, is when's still, do I should I be back same time tomorrow night? Yeah, please. Just with <laughs> yeah. Marty and, and, and you. And you can talk more yeah. sports. When yeah. when <laughs> when is when you're gonna be you're gonna be a, a guest uh, on SVU? Oh, right? I'm doing an episode of uh, Law and Order S SVU. Order SVU, okay. which has been on for a long time. I know. When do you when is it air? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. I I would right. think sometime in March. All right. Maybe. We'll check your local listings because he's please brilliant do. and. Uh, John, I'm so happy you came. I'm, I I'm love so you happy to, to see you and to meet you. Isn't he? He's fantastic. What a, yeah, yeah. yeah. Great, great, great fun. Well, fun. we will be right back right after the this. Don't go County. away. The Bridges. <laughs> the Artie Lang Show. Weeknights on Audience. Only on DirecTV.